something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you come in close so we can do my place Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. For those who don't know me, thank you so much for tuning in. For my new subscribers, you are very much welcome to the family. For the returnees, thank you so much for joining. And for my premier gang, thank you so much. I really appreciate. So in today's video, it's all about what we ate in a day, me and my kids. And uh, I've, I've just woken up this morning and we've started our day by preparing breakfast. So I'm going to prepare some mandazis for, for the family. And I've just, uh, I've just uh, taken, I've just used two kgs of uh, mandazi flour, the yellow packet. I'm adding in uh, lemon zest. I can see I'm grating in lemon zest for two small, uh, is it medium lemon, medium sized lemon. And I'm going to add in uh, sugar. You can add in sugar as per your taste. And then I'm going to use two eggs. I will add in some oil and uh, I will use one and a half packets of milk. Yes, so I I opted on using oil because I didn't want to use margarine. I just uh, bought enough margarine for bread for this month and I didn't want to waste it so that the kids can fail, uh, can have bread without margarine. So I opted for oil and um, I also added in a uh, water because I couldn't afford using more than one and a half packets of milk. So uh, during when you are preparing mandazis, you can use whatever ingredients you have. But as for me, I really love lemon, lemon zest. I don't like the cardamom uh, or cinnamon tests in mandazis. So let us do this and uh, please like the video share if you can uh, leave a comment down below and let me know how often do you prepare mandazis in your home or do you prefer buying them other than preparing mandazis and when you prepare them uh, do you prepare a lot as i do or you just prepare a few pieces you can see i use two kgs of flour because i prefer making a lot of mandazis so that i can use uh, for breakfast for more than even two weeks yeah it's I feel that I always feel that it's a waste of uh, time preparing less mandazis every now and then. We shared the pieces of ourselves, it's perfect timing now We fueled the flames but we're still So my door is done, I'm just going to cover it for a few uh, minutes and uh, clear the utensils that are here you can cover it overnight if you if you if you which is better yes you can prepare this at night and cook in the morning or you can prepare it early enough and if you have time and cover it for one or one hour or so but i didn't have time the kids were hungry and we just needed to make this breakfast so i'm clearing the utensils here and uh, then i will go ahead and start making the mandazis mean while there is tea on the on gas and it's cooking My tea is ready. I'm just going to take it out of the fire and I'm also going to put oil on this pan so that it can just start heating up as I roll uh, the mandazis. In the rush, feeling the rush, burning in love, burning in love. Two souls united, this one place is so free. If you ever get tired, love, I'll sing you gently. 
need to sleep Cause you're still more than enough, more than enough Feeling the rush, feeling the rush Burning in love, burning in love I won't fall when I'm picking you up Of my hand I will be strong enough Our love is stronger And I'll be to test if the oil is ready, I normally insert this rolling pin in the oil and when it, when it removes bubbles, that tells me that it's ready for cooking. So I'm going ahead to insert my cut my small cut pieces this is how i love cutting my mandazis and i love them into small pieces because my kids really love mandazis and if you cut them into bigger pieces i am i am telling you they will be consumed within a short time so by cutting these small pieces i'm able to uh, give them smaller portions and uh, the mandazis will last a bit longer than than the bigger pieces Two souls collided We shared the pieces of ourselves It's perfect timing now We fueled the flames But we're still learning to trust Learning to trust It's never enough, never enough Burning me up, burning me up You can see on the side I have another um, pan. It's not actually a pan. Uh, that is where I'm putting my mandazis when it comes directly from the oil so that I, the, the serviettes yeah, or the kitchen towel can just suck the extra oil and before I put them in the, in the basin that I'm putting mandazis, which is just by the side of the cookers. I don't like... Uh, putting the mandazis direct into the basin. I normally put it uh, on the serviettes so that they can suck off the oil fast. Two sparks ignited. This is what I've prepared and they are actually a lot and I love that they are many because they will serve me for uh, like two weeks, yes. I will won't be having a problem with breakfast. I will just add in cakes. I will just bake some cakes here. I will bake some donuts and add in bread here and there and uh, with some sweet potatoes. And they will push us for uh, some time. So on this pan, I'm preparing some mayais because I want to really, I want to start avoiding on having a lot of wheat so the my the eggs are for me this is what i'll be having for breakfast while the kids will be having the mandazis our breakfast is ready and now we can serve. I have four kids in the house uh, currently, plus me, we are five. Hubby is at work, so we are just going to have breakfast, the five of us. Today is Sunday and it's just a relaxing day at home, but this same day we were cooking some cereals and doing just other chores around the house together with the bigger kids. For lunch, we are going to have matokes. 
And uh, without anything else, yes, I'm just going to cook my tokes alone. The kids actually are full. Uh, they ate a lot of mandazis, but uh, I want to give them my toke because I don't want the twins, the smaller ones, to start asking for food and I have nothing to give them. I don't want to feed, I don't want them to keep feeding on a lot of mandazis and uh, their tummies will, uh, will, bring them problems yes they will be swollen so i've started by washing these matokes i'm just going to boil them like that then i can remove the outer covers when they are boiled yes i don't like removing it when they are like this because of the stickiness uh, i don't really like that one so i prefer boiling them first then remove after boiling <laughs> Should I take it or leave it out? You got me thinking now And now I'm stuck in this loop again You got me thinking now Should I take it or leave it out? What would happen if I talk to you? Got a feeling that I get a blue After a few minutes, they were done and I just placed them on this tray so that they can cool down before I remove the pills. Uh, meanwhile, I will be preparing my ingredients and I'm just going to use my onions, my green pepper and uh, tomatoes uh, plus dania. Yes, I will also add in some uh, garlic powder, some roiko, that's it. So to prepare them, I have just put um, onions on fire and they are cooked. So I'm adding in some hohos, that is green pepper and tomatoes. Then I will add in a little bit of uh, tomato paste. I will go in with my uh, salt. I will add in a little bit of curry powder. Then I will add in garlic and add in garlic powder and add in these roiko cubes. After the tomatoes are ready, I'm just going to add in our water. Then I will put in my bananas and uh, I will add in the uno powder. Yes, uno powder is just a uh, blended peanuts or blended ground nuts. That is, uh, it's, uh, you can find it in any supermarket. Uh, that's what I love using in my, in some of my stews and uh, my bananas. Yes, uh, that's what I'm just going to use. And then I will cover it and just let it cook on low heat for a few minutes. After some minutes, I will come and check on the matokes and they are ready. So right now, I'm just going to put in my danias, uh, switch off the fire and uh, the matokes are ready to serve. So I'm going to serve this with just juice. We are not going to have this with any protein or any beef or whatever because it's lunchtime. And uh, yes, it's lunchtime and uh, we just need, matokes are enough actually, especially with these economies, you don't need to add in any beef or uh, anything during lunchtime. <laughs>
take it or leave it out It got me thinking now And I'm stuck in this loop So later in the evening uh, we started making dinner and uh, we are going to have ugali with kels and uh, nile patch nile patch the other name of nile patch is mbuta that is just a type of fish other than other than tilapia yes that is uh, nile patch it's good for the kids and uh, especially that it has a lot of meat it doesn't have bones a lot of bones it is it's easier for the kids for the little ones to eat so i love it so much because of that so right here I'm just making some ugali. I've already made kels. It's ready. So as I make ugali, I'm just going to start preparing my onions uh, so that when I finish up with the ugali, it, it will be ready for tomatoes. <laughs> So my ugali is ready and all that I'm left to make is the fish. So I'm going to add in some garlic garlic paste in these uh, onions and uh, fry it. Then I will add in blended tomatoes. Uh, so when the garlic is ready, I'm just going to add in uh, blended tomatoes. I normally use blended tomatoes, especially when making fish. And uh, then I'm, I will add in uh, green pepper, uh, cut in smaller pieces because we all don't like uh, bigger chunks of of uh, ho-hos. Then I will go in with my garlic powder. I will add in uh, two pieces of Royco cubes and I will go in with my fish masala too and uh, some salt. Then I will add in water, yes, enough water to cook the fish. Then I will go in with my my coconut cream, yes. I will add in my coconut cream and just mix them together. Then I will put in my pieces of fish and uh, cover it to cook on low heat. Little toy for you to wind up when you're lying in bed and feeling 
So right now I am checking uh, if the fish is ready and uh, it's ready and it's smelling so yummy. So I will add in my uh, my danias or uh, the other name is coriander. Yes, I will add in that and just put off the heat uh, because uh, the food is already uh, it's ready for eating. So I will go ahead and serve the kids and myself. We are just uh, the we are just us at home right now. So we will serve and then we'll go ahead and have our dinner. So thank you so much for your support till this far. We are on the road to 3K subscribers. So if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please go and hit the subscription button, hit the bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. For my premier gang, thank you so much. Uh, for my returnees, I really appreciate. And if you are new here, thank you so much. And you are very much welcome to the family. So guys, that is how we, what we ate on this day. It was a Sunday. Yes. And uh, that's it. So let me see you in my next video, guys. Goodbye. And I really love you all. Like the video, share and leave a comment. <music>